welcome. I would like to welcome you to Siganetuk, one of the seven Mi'kmaq districts. Siganetuk means the drainage, referring to the Bay of Fundy. The land base is from Trakidishila along the coast all the way down to St. John, Boston, and Florida. In 1604, when Samuel de Champlain and Chief Member Two, a Mi'kmaq Grand Chief, met in Siganuktuk, a partnership called Canada was born in a form of a treaty. These peace and friendship treaties were signed by the Mi'kmaqs, Maliseet, Passamaquoddy, Penobscot, English, French, and Irish. We promised our creator and our people we will protect this land so our children yet to come can enjoy it. Many of our warriors, our veterans, gave up their lives so we can enjoy this beautiful land and what it has to offer us, life. Our land has given us life for thousands of years and now the government of New Brunswick wants to destroy it? Why? For money? For jobs? So my question to the government of New Brunswick is, when all the land is destroyed and the water is no good, what good are these jobs and where will the money be? Our elders have shared teachings and legends with us about why we should not extract from Mother Earth. Instead of trying to kill Mother Earth, maybe we should be including her in the Constitution. If we do not protect Mother Earth, then she will try to protect herself. And we do not want to see this because it will affect all of us. She will have earthquakes, floods, floods and natural catastrophes. We know New Brunswick is facing a financial difficulties, but to destroy the one thing that is keeping us alive is plain crazy. We should be enhancing the beauty and focus on tourism and showing off our province, not killing it. We should use the natural resources to meet the needs of our people, not kill our resources so someone from the United States can get rich. allow shale gas fracking or exploration, then we failed New Brunswick. We failed Canada. We failed our children. I would, like, I would like to thank all the people that kept this fight going. They volunteered their time and energy. May God our Creator continue to give you courage and guidance. Today, I am so proud to be from New Brunswick. Just look at us, standing strong for Mother Earth, fighting for Canada's tomorrow. The treaties were signed here. Canada was born here. And after 400 years, we are still standing together, protecting the one thing that has kept us alive and united, Mother Earth. I honestly did not think I would be here today. I prayed for courage and strength. You see, on April 14, I was incarcerated. I was locked in the back of a police car for half an hour with very little space and ventilation, then taken to the men's prison where I was patted down, booked, and a mugshot was taken. I asked the RCMP, why are you doing this to me? What have I done wrong? They said I had an outstanding $50 parking ticket. When I, checked, when I checked with Motor Vehicle Branch, I did not have any outstanding ticket. To this day, I have not been told why I was locked up. But as a great Canadian leader, Thomas Douglas, once said, you can lock up a person, but you cannot lock up the idea. 
but they cannot lock up the movement. Before I close, I would like to send our prayers to the students in Montreal. Stay strong, mes amis. And, and I would like She's talking about her or about me? Hour. He locked up. Yeah, Honorable sounds Premier, like your story. My friend, yeah. But I'm an Acadian, just like you from Emerald Coat, so uh, they don't pay attention to us. But why would they lock up an native? As long as the sun and shall endure, as long as the earth on What do you think of natives being locked up because of a $50 profit ticket? Is that, is that what it's so? We can't hear you. Did you hear her? She said she was locked up, she was jailed, she just arrived here. Did you hear that? Yes! Yeah, that's just terrible! I thought it was, was she talking about me? Did I make a speech? You gonna make a speech? I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> Beautiful job. Beautiful.